Patrick. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, you had a fair drive to get here, so good on you for going to all that trouble. And I'm so glad you brought your wife with you, Beth. Very nice to, to meet you, Beth. Um, now, I want to explain to you first, straight up, that this is a 12-month program. For you to be successful, it requires a lot of input on your part. And to have your wife here with you to learn the program as we go along is such an advantage for you. So tell me your full name, where you live, when you were diagnosed, and the name of the neurologist who carried out the diagnosis. My name is Pat Burgos. I'm from West Salem, Wisconsin. Yep. Uh, my neurologist is Dr. Popello. I think he, gave, he, he made the initial diagnosis. Yep. Uh, however, he referred me to uh, Mayo Clinic in Rochester uh, to follow up with the neurologist there. I don't recall his name, but he confirmed the diagnosis. Right. That was about uh, five years ago. What is the very first symptom that you experienced to know that there was something wrong? Uh, about uh, 10 years ago, when I flexed my, you know, just stretch. I'd stretch, if I'd stretch hard, I noticed in my left arm there was shaking. And huh. the harder I'd do it, the more it would shake. Right. And I went to several physicians thinking it was nothing, or thinking it was uh, muscular. And, uh, but they couldn't figure out what to do about it. And then I went to the neurologist and he said, it's not neurological. Well, it continued to get a little bit more, so I started seeing a couple other symptoms. And when I went back to the neurologist, he changed his, changed his diagnosis and you know, thought that it may be neurological, and then he referred me to the uh, neurologist and they confirmed that diagnosis. Are you able to jog? You can obviously walk, but can yes. you jog? Yes. You can. Um, so how does it, how has this interfered with your lifestyle? What can't you do? Um, sometimes I can't control the tremors. So I just have to sit and relax, so we, which means I can't work effectively. And I can't always predict when that's going to happen. Initially, when I took medication uh, for the symptoms, and that medication worked pretty well for the first couple of years. But uh, now it doesn't seem to be quite as effective. It's been about four or five years now. It's not quite as effective and more painful. And, you know, the Your muscles, muscles are really stiff. Yeah, they tend to want to clench up. Right. So I have to do quite a bit of stretching to try to come I can down. see that you're quite uncomfortable right now. What is the main thing that's bothering you? If I can completely relax, I can usually make them stop. But the natural tendency of your body is to try to control those, and you can't. Right. Well, you've, you've got nerves being pinched, so the muscles are in trauma. I do see that you, you've got your head held back a lot. So if you put your head forward, does it hurt somewhere in your neck? I can't. When I'm like this, like I'm act, reacting pretty strongly right now, I can't hold my head there. What I mean by that is I'll bring it up, and it doesn't hurt more. But, I, but slowly but surely, it keeps pulling back and creeping back. So that's one of my symptoms. That's a real problem. Because your head is always back. Yeah. If I haven't had, you know, if I'm stressed or I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, tired because even though I may have slept well, you know, I get a little fatigued be fighting symptoms or whatever. Yeah. My neck starts coming back. So if I, you know, I can get a, get a good posture and be okay, 
Your head goes to, back anyhow. Yeah, it yep. kind of wants to pull back or fall back on my shoulders like that. Yep, all right. If you park your car on, on top of your garden hose, you turn the tap on and you get a dribble of water and that's about it. Depending on how, how directly, how much the car is directly over, over the top of the, the hose. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same with your nervous, our nervous system. When the muscles that are support the nerves um, are really tight, they squash them and neurotransmitters can't flow through. When a misalignment is just partially misaligned and not really pressing against the nerve, just a little bit, signals can get through, but not very efficiently. The secret of your whole system is to release all pressure from those nerves so that blood neurons can signal to make the blood flow. My, my observation from many years of treating people with these disorders is that the shaking is your own immune system's way of trying to get blood to go where it's needed, where it's not going. So if there's this, the nerves are being squashed and pinched, the neurons aren't signalling, the blood isn't flowing, your immune system is aware of that, so it needs to get the arm or the leg or something to shake to try and get blood there. Does that make sense? So if you relax the muscle tension, get a chiropractor to release the misalignments in your skeletal frame and you get peace of mind so that you're not going to bed every night with, with a stressed, overactive mind, everything comes back to normal. See how his cheeks are... Red? Yes. That's most probably because he was laying on the, the thing here, but his face is more relaxed. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. you're, you're more relaxed and your head isn't as far back as it was. You have to understand the medications they give you, the, the main re advantage you get from them is they relax your muscles. So if the medication does that for you and it improves you, your own relaxation ability is going to help the medication even be more effective. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So the key really is relaxation. That's why the medication is helping you, because it relaxes your muscles. All right. Um, you're standing better, your hands are in your pocket, so you don't get over worry in the world. Once in a while, sometimes, if I'm having a really bad time with tremors, I'll eat, the tremors will go away. Right. Okay, so, so that's as opposed to the energy of your system. So sometimes your tremors might be provoked because you're really lacking energy. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know. That's, yeah. That may be the case. And, you know, and it depends, I guess, on what you eat and what your body needs, right? It, it, you know, so it's, it's pretty hard to predict anyway yeah. when, when, when I'm going to have tremors. Right.